So Temple undergrad is breaking the glass ceiling in the world of STEM with her work being nationally recognized. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Nikki Dementory introduces us to the young woman who is also a student athlete and making Philly very proud. Fencing is one of Diana Tiburcio's passions. She started the sport at eight years old. Now she competes on Temple University's nationally ranked team. I think one day I was like, oh, let me try it. My parents are like, okay, you can try it. The junior spends countless hours inside the student pavilion practicing with teammates. But if you can't find her here, it's a safe bet. She's probably in the lab. Mm -hmm. Research is Tiburcio's other passion. The Malvern native is a first generation citizen. Her parents are from Mexico. Being an immigrant in this country, I think I was able to see a lot of perspectives, not just my own. That's why the 21 year old says she's focused on helping underprivileged communities, specifically with access to clean water. I wanted to make sure that what I was doing in my career was improving the lives of people. This year, her work was recognized nationally. Tiburcio is one of two women from Temple and the university's first woman of color to receive the prestigious Goldwater Scholarship. It gives you aid for either if you get it as a sophomore for two years of your, of your undergraduate degree or a junior, your final year. The Goldwater Scholarship is awarded to undergraduates majoring in math, engineering, or natural sciences, showing promise in research. Only 413 undergraduates in the U.S. received the honor this Year. That's just the message I want to give. It's like just keep pushing. Like you're very capable no matter the barriers that you're facing. This summer, Tiburcio will head out west and continue research at Stanford. Then after graduation, she says she hopes to get her PhD. At Temple, Nikki Dementry, CBS News, Philadelphia.